when we should be focused on God. Amen. We should come in the door dancing that the gatekeeper be like, all right, hallelujah, glory be to God. Because they should be able to hear that joyful noise because the word of God says, enter into my gate, yes. into my corporate. Yes. But we ain't doing that. Amen. We come with that same attitude that we had at our house. We grab the stuff and, ooh, I'm so tired. You don't mean it. Oh, I got food. I just don't feel dead. I yeah. keep on leaning. I got the rules to there. Oh. I believe, see, this is the thing about me. I know that I'm an outreach preacher, therefore that's why I say I don't preach like everybody else. Mm -hmm. But I've been around so many people that they are wondering. Mm -hmm. They stop looking at us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I say it begs to differ because we go through this thing of it's too much of the world up in the church. Mm -hmm. Sorry, who were you when you first came in? Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's right. And we had to have our minds renewed. Mm -hmm. We had to take on the spirit of Christ. Yes. And you say, well, how did you get it? Yes, you got to confess your sins. That's right. One to another. Then you got to go home and confess some more. It's oh, called oh, repentance. Ain't nobody, right. nobody repent. That's right. We're going to. Ain't nobody repent. Th th this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. And you know what's going on right now? Like I said earlier, he's separating the sheep from the goat. Amen. Amen. Oh, love you. And don't make no excuses for nobody. No, mm -mm, don't do that. Because why would you want that blood on your hands? Why would you want to come in here and tell that lie? Well, you know, I'm sorry that everybody ain't here because, no, they're not here because they're not here and get that back to them. Right. This is what's killing our leaders. Amen. They carry all these birds in the low by themselves, and yet, I'd rather be a gatekeeper in the house of God for one day. You're lying, because you don't even want to be here all night to get your soul right, to empty out, to get refilled. So right. so Everything got to be on a time schedule. But God stepped out of eternity and created time. That's why he's an on-time God. He don't come when we want it, because then, like I said, if we go back to that bargaining piece again, if you do this, God, I'm going to do that. I promise you. Lies. Because there's a difference in willfully sinning and a struggle. There's a difference in saying, forgive me and repentance. Mm -hmm. See, forgive me means I'm not going to do it again, but I'm asking you to forgive me this time. Repentance means I got to turn this thing into the struggle and then I got to give it to you. Because see, when we fall and we get up, yeah. we ain't got up, y'all. That be our flush. Because we start out praying in the flush. We come to church in the flush. Mm -hmm. And it's the moving of the spirit that takes us from our flesh to the spirit, which means yep. once we come out of these layers of this outside stuff, and the word penetrates, and it gets down into the marrow in the bowels, mm -hmm. then we should be leaping up. Yes, we should be saying, Lord, what would you have me to do? So if he say, I want you to clean the bathroom, what's the white work? If he say, I want you to take and go to your house, and when you got toilet paper going up the wall, paper towels too, you know the church needs some. Bring it to the church. But they don't want to do that. That's right. Amen. You ever thought and said, let me get my pastor, first lady, and the leadership a dinner, and don't ask them for anything? I come from the old school, y'all, I'm a young lady. I come from the days, and she's a witness of all night prayer. Amen. I had the opportunity to be so drunk that when I got in my car, I couldn't drive. Oh, I miss them days. I'm, I'm serious. Because in that, I saw the miracles. I saw the movement of God. Amen. I heard him clearly. He said, be still and know that I'm God. Mm -hmm. See this microwave generation? Be still and know I'm God. Think you're talking about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think I could do this and I could do that. Who do they think they are? And God said, okay. So you, you ain't even picked up your cross and followed me. You ain't done nothing I asked you to do. But you're busy doing what you want to do. And then you know what happens, y'all? When we get in trouble, that's when it's a sincere prayer come. We mean it then. We want to be here for all that. We took past the lock the door. I'd be here no more. <laughs> Oh, I'm so drunk in the spirit, I just keep falling and falling and falling and falling. But when you got your new suit on, that you took some of your electric bill money to get, you don't want to fall in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But I'd rather be a gatekeeper. Yes. What gate you keep? 
It ain't God's gate. Because if he allowed you, when I first got saved, I had one square in a hole in, in three shirts. One, red, white, and blue. But I was happy. Amen. I was happy. We don't want to seek God by going after him. Mm -hmm. We wait for God. God saying, I'm over here. And we said, but I'll wait for you right here. And he said, I'm telling you, I'm at the mercy seat, but you got to come. But we don't want to go. Mm -hmm. We want to stay right here. God saying, if I can get you to get your butt out the way. Let's go ahead and say, come on, explain that to me. Come on, say, explain that to me. This, this is how you got to get your butt out the way. I would go to church tonight. But you know what? You're looking for the angle. But I'm going when Sunday school over. I'm going when praise and worship got one song left to sing. I want to hear the word. But I don't want to do Sunday school. I want to go to church so I can be counting enough. But I want to wait till after they finish collecting the money. Hey. <laughs> But you got to remember this. When the last time you took a look at the back of your money? Y'all be trust. trust. That's what the money is saying. And it keeps right on rolling on. <laughs> but what, what get you keeping? Because we ain't trusting God. Because when it gets too hard for us, we don't want to go to church. And instead of us giving it to God, we call him our best friend. Girl, let me tell you what went on there. You know what I mean? I just need you to pray for me. And you know, and this, that, and When God said, bring it to me, I'll bear it. And then we want to put our other two cents in there. I'm talking to Deacon about my problem. Deacon tell me, look at here, sister. That was me. You know what I would do? What would you do? I would knock them down and have to repent. But then we fight the wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Because you know what, y'all? Every day we still go through stuff like that. Yes. Yes. And God is saying it's all right because all I'm doing is showing you what I got to get out of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it. That's it. But if we don't give it to him, he ain't going to bear it. That's right. Why my heart had to get broke by the church? You ever thought, because maybe you sitting under the wrong pastor? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be smart about that, but all sheep, that's why we got a lot of shepherds. And we have to get the sheep that know our name. Mm -hmm. And they ain't gonna go to another. But we got people too busy, church hopping. Mm -hmm. And that's another spirit that Amen. comes off in the church. Mm -hmm. I went to church, I was at just the way they did it. But why aren't you still over there? <laughs> But if we really want to talk about gatekeeping, interest, and access, I'm sorry, y'all. The Lord is the doorkeeper. That's why the question is, what gate are you keeping? Because see, at my house, no, you're the gatekeeper. Because even that house belongs to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The only way it don't belong to God is if you ain't give it to him. Yeah. What do I mean by that? If you ain't invite him in here to rearrange the furniture, then he's not going to do it in your house, and then he ain't going to do it in the church. Mm -hmm. God is saying, I call you. I call you. I'm knocking on your door. Don't go tell her, ring the bell. <laughs> don't go tell her to kick no doors in, because that's what the devil does when we're not in position. Mm -hmm. But it then got so laxy days up in the church mm -hmm. that he ain't even got to kick open no doors because nobody's tending the gate. Right. So he's walking to and fro, hello, seeking who he can devour. Yes, mm -hmm. He don't devour some mothers of the churches. Because now they want to look as young mm -hmm. as the young people. Oh, that's right. And they're not telling them, baby, come on here. Now, now, now this is the way I was working with church. You come as you are, right? And some people don't have the clothes from the gate. You understand know what I'm saying? So you don't let them sit on the front pew. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's right. Thank you. But you walk them a minute. Yes. And then as God begins to do the changes, they're going to come from the back to the front. Mm -hmm. But it's a process. Yes. That's it. We can't be harassing them because we do. Mm -hmm. We got this spirit called a, I call it the mummy spirit. So, come on, explain it. Explain it. Okay, y'all. Anytime I do like this, say explain it, okay? okay? This is the mummy spirit. I come into the church because I love God and my dress might be right here. Now, before I can have a seat, here they come, the sheep patrol. And by the time they finish with me, I'm insulted. 
Amen. Uh huh. Amen. Amen. I can't get no word from the past because I'm so busy messed up about how I was approached. Because my dress is my knee. Mm -hmm. You can wear all white, has a hat on your head, and your dress can be a sweeper to the street. But if your spirit ain't right, it doesn't mean nothing. Amen. Amen. So I'd rather come ready. Let me be known when you look at me. I need some help. They ain't got that. You can look at me and tell I need some help. And then maybe somebody will help me. Maybe somebody will show me the love of God. Mm -hmm. No, baby, you can't sit like that. Love! Where's the love? All oh, you gatekeepers. We, we feel like we ain't got time for love. We ain't got time for love. Because it's about what they did to me. And I'm going to pay them back. And who do they think they are? They're your sisters and brothers in, in the labor yard. How about that? Huh? They're the ones that you might not even know that if you give a genuine testimony, you can help them. You, you, people don't even want to testify up in church. They give you a little bit of it, but they don't need a real story because we have a judgmental spirit. Yes. And God said we can be fruit inspectors, but not judges. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what kind of gate you keep? <coughs> so now, in my closing, I'm going to run this down to you real fast. We can have a real good church mm -hmm. if the lazy people would get up, the gossiping people would shut up, and the violent people would pay up. Then we can have a good church. Yes. God wants us to be stress free, worry free. Because yes. if you weren't and ain't praying, then you're committing a sin. If you worry and you ain't praying, you're committing a sin. And if you're praying and ain't believing, you're messing yourself up. So, church, what kind of game are you keeping? Are you gossiping? Or are you trying to give up the gospel? Because if so, strange people should be in the church. Somebody from off your block should be in the church. Somebody that you talk to all the time with the hell phone. Did I say that? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of times that's what goes on with these telephones. That's right. We see this one. I don't like what he did. Why he got hugged? Here. Why we all just can't come together and admit that I ain't no better than you? Uh -huh. Why should we even come to church looking at one another? No. Ready for this challenge, and I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that I think we, that all, have we all have a purpose in life, and mine.